So, after doing uh, pieces on Android tablets and ebook readers, here is an actual uh, Windows 7 tablet. This is the Motion CL900 that I actually use in flight. So, it will obviously take, you know, our standard chart bundle kind of charts. I actually have the AFD and, you know, approach plates here. So this is a standard, you know, PDF reader. This is Foxit reader. Um, I've asked the system to reformat them so that it will display nicely in the portrait mode used in flight. I prefer the AFD sometimes to other data options. But mostly, I uh, wanted to briefly go through the nav suite from JEP that I actually use in addition to the chart bundle stuff. So the first component is FlightStar, which is your flight planning utility. Uh, it is optional. Uh, you can use the JEP View software to actually do routing and then load that into the flight deck for in-flight use. So, flight star. Oh, um, so. It's a fairly complete routing solution, or routing and planning solution. We'll download weather, we'll do just about everything. So here's our standard display. See we have two routes, you may be able to see we have two routes loaded. Um, the one being displayed here, it's actually displaying all the routes currently loaded. The one downside is it doesn't actually support dragging. Uh, it will support, if you tap corners or edges, it will go right, it'll go up, go up. Um, here's your airport list to search for other airports. We're not going to get into the actual flight planning, but... Uh, Sure, there's plenty of videos out there. So, Jep View is really just a viewer and a simple route maker. So, FlightStar will do profiles, climbs, descents, um, airways. Jep View will pretty much just um, so tell, just informing me that my data may not be current. In this case, it is. So, Jet View will do simplistic routing. Basically, you tell it the airport, the airports and waypoints, and it will put them on the chart for you. So here we have our um, route pack that we'll, we're actually planning to fly later, not today. List of airports again. Uh, this is all configurable. What you want to display, you can see the icons. Hopefully, over here. You know, what parts to display, what not to display, show VFR, IFR, restricted airports. Um, and this looks a lot like the actual flight deck software that you would be using in flight, except with a more complex interface. So, we'll close this out. So, the CL900 does have an onboard GPS. It's a little tricky, though. The first thing you need... Oh, this is Windows 7, but it's screen, uh, skinned like XP to improve performance so we don't have all the arrow effects and everything. So the first thing that's needed is under wireless, the mobile broadband with GPS has to be enabled. Um, so you turn that on. And you also have to load the motion connection manager. I put the icon here on the desktop so I don't run it every time I use the tablet, but just when I need GPS. So under here, go to GPS, start GPS. And it'll tell you which COM port. That will be needed when you actually do setup for flight deck. GPS. So GPS, I'm using generic RMC GGA, COM5, 100 BPS. So. I don't know if it'll lock here in the house, but that's okay. So, Flight Deck. One thing to note about Flight Deck is it doesn't like the aspect ratio being changed. So if you start it in portrait mode, you need to leave the tablet in portrait mode. 
If you start it in landscape, you need to leave it in landscape because it won't handle it well. Uh, where is... Since I don't have the Windows bar anymore, let's... And the way on this tablet to lock the orientation options, oops, automatic display rotation is unchecked. So, so anyway, here's Flight Deck. The first thing you need to do before you use it is actually load a route. You don't have to load a route. But. So, these are the route packs we saw a few minutes ago. So, let's tell it to, we want to go to Henderson. So, and we'll select that route. There's our Henderson route from uh, Montgomery Field up to Henderson, waypoints and everything. Obviously you're using Jepson, so the first thing you want to do is, you know, see your departure airports diagram. There's your departure airports diagram. Uh, if GPS was synced up, it would show where we were on the field, even though we're not on the field. So, there's no departure procedures. But if you did need to see a, an approach procedure, tap it. So, this is your return key. Go back up. See our inbound into Henderson. So there's the airport diagram. There's your departure procedures. There's your departure procedures again because I can't tap the right button. There's your arrivals. There's your approaches. It is kind of neat because once you select one of these, let's actually go back to Montgomery. Select an approach. And go to the in route. What you'll see over here on the in route, once we get zoomed in, so this uses the same box zoom that the other JEP products use. As we zoom in, um, well, if it was enabled, it does certainly not like to show what I want it to show sometimes. Well, anyway, you can actually get it to show the chart overlaid here. Anyway, there's plenty of other um, options for display. So, European VFR style, FMS, high in route, low in route, default, which is what I like to leave it on. You can turn on various, you know, show me where the localizers are. You can see the localizers now. Um, the GPS hasn't figured out where we are, so that's okay. see if terminal will display. No. There it's showing all the terminal charts along our route. So if we had multiple airports, we could see them here or alternates. So there's your beautiful in route chart or you can switch it back to a more useful view that shows you, you know, well, with GPS sync the parameters. You have a nice profile here showing, you know, shows terrain if there was any. So, anyway, there is a very brief overview of the Nav Suite, JEPS Nav Suite, Flight Deck, Flight Star on the Motion CL 900.